Hello, this is Jay with Web App Zero, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable work in progress modes in Magit. Magit is a Git porcelain which wraps uh, basic Git commands. Uh, many of you are probably using this if you use a piece of software like SpaceMax, which makes it really easy to get started uh, with SpaceMax. I started using Magit and barely read the documentation, which, as it turns out, um, uh, wasn't that smart. There is a way that you can actually lose data. Uh, fortunately, I haven't had a problem with this yet, but I want to uh, preempt any possibility of that happening. So I did go ahead and enable all three global WIP modes. You can read the documentation, section 8.6, uh, about these global modes. They are modes, all three of which, uh, when enabled, give you the most possible protection uh, of data loss while you're inside of Magit. So there's an opportunity to lose data when you're outside of Magit um, that obviously Magit can't control. The other thing I just wanted to mention is that uh, in order to uh, have this protection, your files have to be tracked, which means it's a really good idea that immediately upon creating a file that we go ahead and add it that we go ahead and stage it. Oftentimes, I'll create a file and even start working in the file uh, for a little while, and then I'll add it after the fact and, and then commit it. So it will, it will be a lot smarter for me. I'll actually be changing my uh, process, and it's probably recommended to do this anyway. Uh, I'll actually be, you know, staging my files right away as soon as I create them. And Magit makes that really easy to do. So that's just another adjustment to your process that if you're not already doing that would be a smart thing to start doing. So uh, these three global modes are Magit, WIP, after save mode, after apply mode, and before change mode. And there are a couple of different ways that you can enable these. I'm just in, I'm in any buffer in my project here. It doesn't matter which one. But I will do a meta X. And <clears throat> you can see I did a search for, um, I'll just do Magit Whip. after save mode and down at the screen it's going to tell me that it's been disabled so I actually want to do that again and it's the first one that's selected so I'm going to run that and then down here not sure if you can see that but it's it's telling me that it was enabled so if I go into my messages buffer I can see here um, that the last message I've received is that the whip after save mode is enabled. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can do it with the function like I just did, or you can go into your customize menu, the easy customize, which you should probably have done a few times now if you've gotten if you've done any work in Emacs. So I'll let that be an exercise for you. If you have any any questions, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching this video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.